Hello, this is Dr. Ford Brewer with Heart Attack, Stroke, and Cancer Prevention. Why rely on a cure when you can prevent it? I'd love to hear your comments, your thoughts as you uh, listen to the videos. So please uh, go to the comment section, write some comments, and um, if you like it, share and subscribe. Today's video is another in a series on metformin. Uh, metformin was approved a couple of years ago by the FDA as a uh, drug for research for overall anti-aging. Now, why is that? Well, metformin has had uh, a lot of impact in prevention of um, type 3 diabetes, which is uh, senility, um, Alzheimer's, uh, obviously it, prevention of, or management of diabetes, but also prevention of heart attack and stroke. Um, so I've got uh, videos on each of those. Um, so what about cancer? Now where's that connection? Well before we talk about that uh, connection, let's just do some headlines on cancer. Head and neck cancer, 46 percent decrease in a recent study of head and neck cancer in on patients with metformin. Uh, stomach cancer, similar type of finding, a 55% decrease in stomach cancer among patients on metformin. A meta-analysis is a large uh, study where you take multiple different independent studies and pool the data where possible. This one was on 27 independent studies, 24,000 patients. It looked at colon and rectum cancer as well as prostate cancer, both associated with diabetes. Um, among colon and rectum uh, cancer patients taking metformin, there was a 37% decrease in recurrence, a 31% overall improvement in survival, and a 42% cancer-free survival improvement. With prostate cancer, similar thing, 42% cancer-free survival improvement. So, uh, What's going on here? Uh, well, let's just hit another headline first. Metformin has been studied in tumor incidence among 17 different types of target organs. Uh, as we, we've mentioned already, prostate, um, uh, colon, rectum, melanoma. There's been a lot of research in mel melanoma and uh, diabetes. There have been multiple animal models, rats, mice, uh, again, looking at this, this same connection between diabetes, metformin, and cancer. Multiple types of uh, cancer origin, too. Uh, spontaneous uh, cancer origin, as well as ionizing radiation, uh, virus, uh, genetics, diet, environmental. Now, okay, so let's go back and talk about the mechanism. We, I, I think the, the fact that there's associations there is pretty clear. So let's talk about this. This is a, um, an article from the American Diabetes Association, and it's on the diabetes cancer link. And she talks about several different items. Uh, first of all, the fact that Di diabetes is associated with colon, uh, breast cancer, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, endometrial cancer, bladder cancer, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, and uh, prostate disease. She doesn't even mention melanoma. And again, there's a significant um, relationship there. So what are the mechanisms? And again, she's talking about type 2 diabetes here. Um, there's several mechanisms. Uh, one is elevated insulin as a mechanism. There are uh, other mechanisms as well. Uh, changes in estrogen and testosterone level. Chronic inflammation. And we've talked about several different mechanisms whereby diabetes can impact chronic inflammation. We originally looked at chronic inflammation from diabetes associated with the heart attack gene. 
Uh, Bradley Bale and Amy Dunneen wrote a book on beat the heart attack gene. They're talking about 9P21. As we've mentioned before, 9P21 was uh, originally known as a cancer gene associated with these cancers. And guess what the connection was? 9P21 is really a, a diabetes gene. Um, other mechanisms listed in this ADA, American Diabetes Association, uh, article on type 2 diabetes and uh, cancer. Obesity is associated, obesity and overweight is associated with cancer. And uh, actually just hyperglycemia, the, uh, the fact of having glucose levels well over 100. Um, your doctor still probably considers a glucose level of 100 as normal. It's not. You should be hitting below 100 routinely. So there's an interesting uh, point about these mechanisms. Uh, this author doesn't even mention one of what appears to be one of the bigger uh, mechanism, and we've talked about several of these things in other videos. Um, the Warburg effect. You remember the Warburg effect is the fact that very many cancer molecules have a very primitive form of energy metabolism. It's similar to the energy metabolism of yeast. Now we've run into we run into energy metabolism of yeast, um, and it's primitive. Uh, mechanisms when we talk about fermentation. About 60 to 80 percent of cancer cells have poor primitive um, glucose metabolism. So the Warburg effect uh, again is that if you mess with uh, glucose metabolism you may actually have an impact on cancer cells. There's I, I did another video on uh, the fact that a lot of people thought that they could wipe out cancer using a low-carb diet. Uh, you can't do that, but you can actually impact cancers using a low-carb diet. And guess what? Metformin also impacts cancer. 